it No gunshots, but they getting Hey, what's up you guys? It's Craft Farms here with another video and today we are going to be back on Dad's farm. Hope you guys had a good week and uh, I know I did. So I'll show you guys some of what happened here. So finished up the baling. Uh, we got the 4430 and 4630 and then the baler and trailer here. We have 330 straw bales. It is, I think, 15 loads with this trailer or something like that. I don't know. It's a lot of bales. Uh, so we just got them all lined up there. So what we're going to do is we are going to return our rental equipment. So we will return this. Return this. Return this, and return this. There we go. So, we are working on harvest again. Or still, I should say. Uh, this field is yielding much better. Uh, it is a whole lot better of a yield. Uh, and as you can see, I have damage mod on here. Uh, the script is not installed on the map. I just have the mod in game and the reason that I have it in game is because my fuel trailer um, is scripted to repair things so I have it in it, we have we own it excuse me. Uh, we own that so we are able to um, able to repair our vehicles with that thought I'd just kind of add a little something to to the game for a little while uh, just kind of change it up um, now if you guys didn't see Thursday's video uh, I have finished all fields on my map and it is now ready for buildings to start um, I'm gonna start those sometime soon I'm not sure when uh, I'm probably gonna start putting like the surrounding farms on before I start building the um, uh, the uh, before I start building the buildings that I need to make. There we go. I don't know why I lost my train of thought there. Um, so yeah. Uh, wow, we're really lagging again in the yard. So yeah, once the combine finishes up field three, uh, so this will probably be in Tuesday that this happens. But uh. We will, um, we will rent a forage harvester and a truck and silage trailer, and we will chop the straw on field three and four. I did some baling on field three to get all the way up to 330 bales. Um, it's just kind of how I am. I like making things even a lot. I don't know why, but just do um, so yeah there's the fuel trailer so we are going to have to move in just a moment because this grain bin is just about full it is 98% full There, it's full. And we'll have to oops, raise this up and turn it off. Now we're gonna get our bin, this bin closed and the other bin open. All right. Tab this bin and open this guy up. Go. We need to move our semi. So, another thing, I talked about this a while back, uh, just kind of as a, you know, a little bit of a neat idea. Um, 
I was thinking of making like t-shirts that you guys can buy that say you know like craft farms like right now I'm wearing a how farms work shirt so it'd be something like that you know it's have some sort of a logo or something on it um, it's not gonna be the channel art that I have right now because I can't well I have to make sure that this is actually going to work because I haven't been able to get t-shirts to pop up as an option and this is not going to work the way that I wanted it to be. Um, but yeah just kind of like a little something that you know like you guys can buy shirts and whatever if you want to or um, I think I'm, that mugs were an option uh, I don't know why but mugs were an option uh, and stuff like that so if you guys want to you know be able to buy shirts and think that I should do that then let me know uh, and if you guys would be interested in buying shirts, uh, I will definitely see if I can get them made. And stuff like that. Uh, you know, it's just kind of a neat idea that I had. Uh, thought I'd see what you guys think. I have a shirt. Um that I made up that's for, like, that I will get. Uh, it'd be different than what I would, like, have for sale. Because, you know, like, this one, it's, like, you know, saying, you know, I'm the owner of this channel and that kind of stuff. But, you know, just kind of thought that'd be a neat idea. Let me get that guy going. One bad thing about that combine is that it has to um, always be manually unloaded and that's I mean it's nice for when you're combining yourself because it doesn't just automatically start but it's kind of annoying when you're doing other stuff let's get a screenshot here of unloading into the third bin I can show you guys here um, the t-shirt that I made up for myself so it's on cafepress.com um, let's see my designs I think is where it's at um, I gotta turn my display capture off for just a second There we go. Had to sign in and I didn't want to uh, have that. Okay. Um, where the heck did it go? Favorites maybe? No. Shop. Good. Well, I had done a shirt. But, I don't know where it went. Oh man, it came out. I hate when that happens. It's because I didn't move the truck in time. That's why I did that. Alright, there we go. Alright, let's get this guy back to the field. And continue on with harvest. 
So yeah, the bales are just going to sit there for a while uh, until we can afford to buy our beef equipment, which will probably be a little while. I, I know it won't be until after harvest, for sure. So harvest is going to be a little while yet. It's probably going to be another... I'd say harvesting will take another month or so. Because let's see, Tuesday will... Because in, up until Tuesday, I'm going to try and finish off wheat. So like Tuesday's video will be... Um, you know, we'll have finished wheat. And then we'll be starting on chopping. So Tuesday's video will be chopping. And then Thursday's video will uh, either still be chopping or we'll be starting on soybeans. And the soybeans will probably take a few weeks to do. So, so yeah, we'll probably be at it for quite a while yet. But that's all right. <clears throat> it's nice to have stuff to do. And I just want to make sure that this is still recording. And it is. Yeah, another thing. Um, today's Friday. And just earlier, I uploaded a little short Beam and G Drive video. Uh, once I hit this combine unloading, I'll show you guys further what I'm talking about. Um, so, yeah, I have a bunch of Steam games here, so let me know what you would like to see. Um, Minecraft I'm not doing, I don't even play it anymore. Um, I bought it at one point, like, a long time ago, and it doesn't even work anymore. Uh, I don't know my login info. But I have Seven Days to Die, which I probably wouldn't do, because I really don't know what I'm doing in that game. But there's American Truck Sam. Uh, I have done a video on that, and I'm probably going to continue those soon. Uh, I've just been playing a lot more farm sim than anything. But I have Beam and G Drive, Construction Sim. Uh, I'm not going to do Euro Truck. I don't play that anymore. I have Heroes and Generals. I won't do 13. I don't play that anymore. Uh, I have Ski Region, Spin Tires, Train Sim, and War Thunder. So if you guys would like to see either Beam and G Drive, Construction Sim, Heroes and Generals, Ski Region Sim, Spin Tires, Train Sim, or War Thunder, let me know. Uh, you know I'd be happy to uh, um, expand my variety of games. I mean, I know I'm most, I know I'm known for Farm Sim and stuff, but uh, Farm Sim and Farm Toys. But I'd be happy to try out something else, uh, just to try it. And my green cart and then tractor are a little bit damaged. All right. So yeah, we have. Jeez, two hundred fifty. Oh, we have five hundred thousand liters of wheat in the bins already. Uh, plus, you know, a little more, but I don't know how much is in that other bin. Uh, Forty-two thousand liters. So we have like. 500 and we have 542,363 liters of wheat in our bins. Uh, the truck's not really in a good position. I'm a little bit off with the truck. There we go. That's better. So, actually, we can look at renting our stuff right now, I think. So, let's... Oops. We'll rent the chopper. Oops. Days. One day. Not two, three, four, five. So, we'll get... We'll rent that. And then we'll rent the pickup header for it. Default. I don't know why they made that color selectable. It doesn't need to be color selectable. Um, for a truck... 
what truck should we get? I think we'll just go with the T600. And then we'll rent the white UM silage trailer. So we'll tab to our stuff here. Um, we'll put this in group 6, and then the truck in group 7. There we go. So, we can... This truck has some options. We can dump the suspension. Which means we can drop the truck. Uh, we can open the hood. We can... Roll down our window. Roll down our other window. And was it four and zero? Let's see where are the Oh. I thought we could open the doors too, but Guess not. So we'll get this guy hooked up. It's kind of a little truck for this trailer, I think, but it'll get the job done. I hope. So we'll pull this guy over to the field. Just to get him ready. So I think once... So once... Not I think. Once we uh, start on our chopping, what we'll do is... Um, we'll run the truck, and then course play will run the chopper. I need to remember where the heck our straw started. Uh, it's down on that end somewhere. So yeah, we'll be running the truck, and also we need compaction equipment. What can we use to compact? I know what we can use. We can use the new case tractor from Mr. Fox Modding. That's going to put us back a little bit as well, but it will be nice. This truck isn't too bad. I don't know how it'll act once we get it full, though. That's the only thing I'm wondering. The truck didn't even stop. I know it's unrealistic, and I'm sure somebody's going to yell at me in the comments, but oh well. Big deal. Sometimes you just got to do what you got to do. So now I think we'll just pull this guy kind of up right here uh, for the time, because I don't want him to be in the way of anything. Uh, and we'll get to this guy and put him in group. We'll put him in group 9. And we'll get him heading to the farm. Because that is where we will need him. time we'll get this guy over to the field as well so we need our hazards and beacons on and let's roll to the field so this thing can actually uh, chug down the field pretty well as you can see it's already dirty uh, because the person that made it screwed up something in their dirt shading part of the XML and now it gets like gets dirty at like a million second or like a millionth of a second or something you know it's very fast very unrealistic as well but whatever it's a 
nice mod. It works, so we'll go with it, I guess. Almost looks like this header is like on the ground. What you can't? Oh, it's supposed to be unfolded. Wait, you're not gonna let me raise it? Well, what the heck? I thought you could raise it because I have the uh, mod where you can adjust the header height and I thought it would work with that but evidently it doesn't. Do we have IC? No. Oh. So yeah, once harvest is over and we've bought our dairy or our beef equipment. Uh, if we are able, if we have a lot of money left over, uh, we're going to trade the Lexion in on a different combine. Uh, we're going to get a John Deere. And I will show you guys the combine I'm talking about. We will be getting... Ah, uh, but we have to re-record re all of our courses, which will kind of suck. But we'll be getting the John Deere S690. Uh, this is done by Sid Modding, but a friend of mine, he put multiple versions together in one zip file. Uh, he's got an S670, uh, an S690... Uh, there's the S690 TerraTrack. The this is an S680. This is an S690, and then this is an S690 American version. So it has duels on it, and they're all Americanized. They don't have the stupid uh, European decals on them. Uh, we do have these combines as well, but I would rather use that one, even though it is more expensive. Uh, and then we'll have uh, the six. I think it's either the. I think it's this one that we want. One of them has wheels. I can't remember which one it is. And then the 612C corn header. And like I said, the only bad thing about that is we will have to re-record all the courses. Which will not be very fun. Why aren't you driving? Are we supposed to go to them at... We'll put it at 60%. This needs to be set to fill level, which it is. And then the speed we can adjust a little bit. Yeah, and for those of you that don't know already, uh, my map will not be released. Uh, it says in the description of all of the videos on it. Uh, I've gotten uh, many... Oh, excuse me for a second. Alright, that was my mom calling, letting me know that they're almost here. Because she was at her office, and then my stepdad went to go get her, and also pick up pizza for supper. So, <clears throat> But yeah, so, like I said, it does say in the description of all the videos on my map that my map will be private upon completion. Uh, <clears throat> I... 
since I uploaded the video on Thursday, I've gotten a lot of people that have private messaged me asking, you know, is it going to be done soon? I would love to play on it and whatever, or, you know, is it going to be released and all that kind of stuff. So... So yeah, no it will not be. So we will just wait on the grain cart here. See, our bean fields are looking mighty fine. Uh, I don't know what we're running for nutrients and stuff. Um, 82%, 3 and 5. Strong acidity. Uh, that's going to kill us. Uh, we need some lime. I need to figure out what the issue is, you know, what the deal is with the lime. If we have, you know, if we can get lime or not. Um... If not, I will edit the map so that way uh, it has lime on it, if it does not already. Uh, and our tractor is here. Take him back here to the silage pit. Yeah, this is released on uh, Mr. Fox's uh, Facebook page. I forget what it is offhand, but uh, if you go and search up like Mr. Fox modding or something like that, something along those lines, you should be able to find it. I would imagine. Uh, I like I said, I don't remember what it is called exactly. I don't think it's called Mr. Fox. Uh, I could be wrong, so don't quote me on it, but. It's a very well done tractor. It's got uh, IC controls. Uh, you can roll down the window, open the door uh, on both sides. Uh, you can bring down this little visor. Uh, what else is there? I don't think you can open the back window. Yeah, I didn't think so. So yeah, just those controls. Uh, but still, it's very well done. Uh, he also did release his Air Seeder. Uh, I just haven't downloaded that yet. He just released it today. And I haven't uh, seen it yet. Or downloaded it yet. I've seen it, obviously, but haven't downloaded it yet. So. I think we're nearing our the end of our video here. Yep. So yeah, like I said guys, let me know what you think uh, on other games, you know, like Beam and G and all that good stuff, and uh, we'll see, maybe I'll, if you guys want to see, you know, like, um, let's say if you want to see two or three other games, what I might do is I'll stick to Farm Sim, Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays, but then on Monday and Wednesday... And, you know, if you want three, then Monday, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, you know, I'll figure out, you know, like I'll add videos to the schedule uh, to have, to incorporate those in there and also keep doing the farm sim. So that way it's not like, you know, one farm sim a week or something like that. But yeah, guys, that's going to do it for me for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, hit that thumbs up button for me. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Thank you for 16, I think it's 1660, something like that, uh, subscribers. That's a lot. Uh, I'm happy to be here where I am. Uh, make sure you turn on the post notifications to be notified every time I upload a new video. My video schedule is Tuesdays and Thursdays at 4 p.m. Central Time and Saturdays at noon Central. 
Uh, make sure you check out down below in the description for links to all my social medias, my mod site, and other cool YouTube channels that are worth taking a look at. Thank you for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the